Hey everybody, Second Extreme here, Diao Chan. Again, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, it is Full Bloom Under Moonlight, and we got a new gimmick here. It is similar to the Lava one, but I feel like it's a little bit more annoying. Uh, this one, it's uh, wood themed, and the gimmick here are thorns. So basically, if you don't have boots to protect you from them, you will be slowed down. And similar to how the uh, lava worked, sorry, magma, magma. Uh, the uh, fairies with chests are on the board and if you kill them, they will drop some boots for you. And like hearts, they have three grades and they will protect you for the turn you get them plus two, three, or four respectively on their grade. Um, but yeah, the problem here is if you don't have the boots, you are slowed down and it basically becomes impossible to do damage. So personally, I don't see any point in waiting to have those boots get upgraded unless you already have one. So pick them up as soon as you can and make sure you get out of the stages as quick as possible. Now the team I have here is Jack, who is Max Luck, uh, Ruby, uh, the Evo form. The Ascended form is actually a great match for this stage, but I don't have her in Ascended. Uh, uh, the, was it the Rose Monstriker in the Ascended form? And my friend is Avalon. And so basically you want to bring Pierce types because once again, there are bounce restrictors in this stage. So if you want to get around easily, bring Pierces. I know someone like uh, what Himiko might be tempting, but I feel like Pierce types are the way to go for this stage. Uh, anyway, the other gimmick here is warps, as you can see. So uh, I do believe everybody in this party has warps or can deal with warps, which is a great thing. And let's see, Jack is great with his slit horizon layer laser. Uh, Ruby has a pretty strong bump combo. And of course, Monstriker. I think pretty strong in general. And Avalon's bump combo. Sure, why not? And on bonus, as you can see, Jack has the uh, recovery S. And yes, as you can see, even if you clear the stage, you will still suffer the uh, speed down if you were going through that stage uh, without feet protection. Sure. And actually, yeah, these uh, turtle stages, if you have boots, pretty uh, unwelcoming here because it will suck up your turns, uh, which you'd honestly probably want for... Uh, the actual stage but no problem we can just uh, spend this time uh, uh, getting your strike shots up but this should clear it out yep all good and we're healed up all right so we got 22 turns to get through three gauges yes three gauges all right, so we got the uh, angel on the bottom left, and we'll get that boot ready to be picked up. And as you can see, the uh, homing absorber on the top is calling down more and more monsters. Now you don't necessarily want to kill him right away because he will eventually call another fairy guy, I believe. So you might want to think about that. before getting rid of him. There you go. And it looks like our boot is upgraded. So let's pick him up. All right, and now everybody should be able to move. Now, Diao Chan does have a decent uh, punch in her, so uh, you don't wanna take too long because of course taking damage is not good. And especially if you're uh, hindered speed-wise, it may be very difficult to pick up hearts. So keep that in mind as you scope out the fairies, hearts, your HP, and just, you know, be careful in general. All right. Now, hopefully, 
I'm gonna remember to pick up that boot before clearing this stage. It would be a shame to leave the stage without that boot. And of course I do miss it. Awesome. Alright, second stage. Um, again, nothing too different. Take out that fairy first so that the boot is ready for a pickup. And... Alright. Looks like the absorber is a little bit low on health. Maybe... All right, looks like he stayed alive just in time. Oh, I guess there's one more before the... Uh... All right, looks like he won't live until the end of the day, but hey, Diao Chan went down too, so we're off to the final stage. Oh, wait, sorry. One more. The gun dude. There we go. All right, now we go into the final stage. Um, yeah, you know what? Strike shots, let's see. Avalon, yes, yeah, sacrifices half, half of her HP to do equivalent damage. I opted to forego it here only because, um, I guess I'm a little afraid of HP versus, uh, you know, I actually don't have the boot either. As you can see, I'm slowed down, so maybe, maybe next time. We'll see. And of course I don't want to use a strike shot while I'm slowed down, so let's take a look at Ruby's strike shot. Deals a ton of damage on the weak point. Not slowed down, so probably get two swishes in there. Oh, looks like I aimed a little bit too high there. All right, we're about halfway there now. And let's see. Oh, Blossom Warrior Pink. I guess that's the name for the Ascended form. There we go. Now uh, the Warp Machine is classified as a drone, I believe. So that's why you saw that big damage. But since everybody can take care of warps, it's not that important. And looks like I didn't even think twice about using Avalon Strike Shot probably a good idea no hearts and we'll use jack strike shot it's just to speed up but also hitting everybody for some HP healing which is probably was a probably good idea and this could do it nope a little bit short so we'll give the honors to uh, Blossom Pink here. And there you go. That is Diao Chen. Now I particularly don't like this stage. I mean gimmicks are annoying but that haze over the, the level just you know covers up the great aesthetics of the game which is a little bit unfortunate but hey what are you gonna do? Alright let's take a look. Three drops, not bad. Max luck didn't matter. All right, well that's it for this stage. All right. So, that's it for now. Until next time, bye bye.